Merry Christmas! Let the Christmas Inferno commence. Every Christmas Eve, people of the UK go to war with the country of Turkey. They then eat the Turkey people for Christmas dinner. Dead and decapitated, but that's Christmas when you're a turkey. <laughs> it's Christmas, you moron. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Doctor. Happy Christmas. Are we going to get busy saving Christmas? Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Silly Bev, she says hello. Bev, yeah, look, it'll have to wait. Right, it's not safe. We've got to get out. Where can we go? My mate Stan, he'll put us up. That's only two streets away. What about Mo? Where's she living now? I don't know. Peak District. Oh, we'll go to Cousin Mo's then. Ah, oh, it's Christmas Eve. We're not going anywhere. What are you babbling about? Mum, where'd you get that tree? That's a new tree. Where'd you get it? I thought it was you. How can it be me? Well, you went shopping, there was a ring at the door, and there it was. No, that wasn't me. And who was it? Oh, you're kidding me. Perfectly ordinary roof people doing some emergency roof things. Carry on. Merry Christmas. If, if, it, if it is Christmas, I mean, <laughs> I don't much care for things like that myself. I mean, Christmas. <laughs> Are you? Santa Claus. Me? <laughs> no. Oh, no! It's ridiculous. 
<laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, Wiggle! Wiggle! Down again! All right, fine. Yes. Yes, it's me. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> how did you recognise me? You know how you grew the beard as a bit of a disguise? People have picked up on it. OK, no. Hang on, stop. Shut up. What? Seriously, you... You're Father Christmas, you're real. Of course I'm real. Oh, how could he oh, not be oh. real? Huh? How do you think those presents got under the tree every year? By magic? Well, I thought it was my mum and... Mum and, and dad. dad. Oh. <laughs> well, of course it was. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, your mum and dad, one day a year, for no particular reason, just out of the blue, suddenly decided to give you a great big pile of presents. No, 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 because... They love you so much. <laughs> it's a lovely story, dear. Yeah, but it's time to start living in the real world, yeah? OK. Right, Clara Oswald. Mostly favours travel books, science kits, strict ban on hair products, marginal for the naughty list 93. Believe her until the age of nine. Why did you stop? Because you're a fairy tale. I grew out of fairy tales. <sighs> did you, Clara? Did you really? Clara, I want you to step inside the TARDIS. I don't want you to talk. I want you to do as I ask, please. That was good with the box. <laughs> Not often we get upstaged on a rooftop. <laughs> yes. I'm really here. I'm back. Now get inside the TARDIS. I know what this is. I know what's happening. And I know what's at stake. I don't think you do, Doctor. But I promise before this Christmas Day is done, you will be glad of my help. Happy Easter. Oh, <laughs> cool exit line, though. Be sure to save some room for a tangerine, Doctor. Nobody likes the tangerines. I'm really back here. This is... This is real, yeah? Doctor, talk to me. I never thought I was going to see you again. What is going on out there? What's happening? Oh, that noise. Never knew how much I loved it. There's something you have to ask yourself, and it's important. Your life made it permanent. Everybody's life. Do you really believe in Santa Claus? Do you know what? Yeah. Right now. Yeah. I think I do. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
this patient. Come to doctor. on my head? Uh, well, yes. Describe it. Well, you've sort of got antlers. Antlers? Yes, antlers. Antlers. You are a time space machine. Your vehicle. I've never asked you to cheer me up with hologrammatic antlers. Thank you. Can I help you? Yes, are you the surgeon? Close enough, why? Well, you know. I don't know. There's a medical emergency. Well, they'll be singing. No. Fine, then. We weren't sure where you'd come down. Sorry? In your capsule. Oh, I'm never sure. I don't like being sure about things. One minute you're sure, the next everybody turns into lizards and a piano falls on you. Piano? It's been a long day. Are you expecting a surgeon? So what's the medical emergency? Didn't you read the agreement? There it is. What? That's what? Oh, the flying saucer. Is that new? Come on. Well, you took your time. Sorry, Mum. This is him. This is the surgeon. Hello. You don't look much like your pictures. Well, that's an ongoing problem for me. Doesn't look very impressive, does he? Nardole, what have you brought to my doorstep? I've had a haircut. This is my best suit. It's not even a suit. Do I know you? You most certainly do not. And now that you've met me, you'll do your very best to forget me. River! Oi! Doctor Song to you. Sometimes Professor, but mainly Doctor. Don't use my name, ever. How do you know me? Well, it's a tiny bit complicated. People usually need a flowchart. It doesn't matter. <laughs> if either of you use my name again, I will remove your organs in alphabetical order. Any questions? Which alphabet? Sorry, you really didn't want these questions, did you? This way. We don't have a lot of time. What seems to be the problem? My husband. Your husband? Didn't you read my message? My husband, yes. My husband is dying. <laughs> I think I'm going to need a bigger flowchart. Uh, to repeat, I am Mr. Copper, the ship's historian. And I shall be taking you to old London town in the country of UK. Ruled over by good King Wenceslas. Now, human beings worship the great god Santa, creature with fearsome claws, uh, and his wife Mary. And every Christmas Eve, the people of UK go to war with the country of Turkey. They then eat the Turkey people for Christmas dinner, like savages. Excuse me, uh, sorry, sorry, but um, where did you get all this from? Well, I have a first class degree in ethnomics. <laughs> now stand by. Hey, Andy, red six seven. Well, take a bracelet, please, sir. But um, hold on, hold on, uh, what was your name? Like a capilata. Okay. 
Bana Cavalata, but it's Christmas Eve down there. Late night shopping, tons of people. He's like talking conquer. No offense, but you'll cause a riot because the streets are going to be packed with shoppers and parties and people and. and... Oh. Now, spending money, I have a credit card in Earth currency. If you want to buy trinkets or uh, stockings or the local delicacy, which is known as beef. But don't stray too far, it could be dangerous. Any day now, they start boxing. Very good. Very it should be full. It should be busy. Something's wrong. But it's beautiful. Really? Do you think so? It's just a street. The pyramids are beautiful and New Zealand. But it's a different planet. I'm standing on a different planet. There's concrete and, and shops, alien shops, real alien shops. Look, no stars in the sky. And it smells. It stinks! Oh, this is amazing! Thank you! Yeah? <laughs> Come on, then. let's have a look. Hello there. Sorry, um, obvious question, but where's everybody gone? Oh, oh scared. Right, yes. Scared of what? Where have you been living? London? At Christmas? Not safe, is it? Why? Well, it's them up above. Look, Christmas before last, we had that big bloody spaceship, everyone standing on a roof. And then last year, that Christmas star electrocuting all over the place, draining the Thames. This place is amazing. And this year, God knows what. So everybody's scarpered, gone to the country. All except me and Her Majesty. Her Majesty the Queen has confirmed that she'll be staying in Buckingham Palace throughout the festive season to show the people of London and the world that there's nothing to fear. May God bless her. We stand vigil. Well, between you and me, I think Her Majesty's got it right. As far as I know, this year, nothing to worry about. Then again. I was in mid sentence. Yes, I'm sorry about that. A bit of a problem. If I could have your brace. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen of Balacavalata. We seem to have suffered a power fluctuation. second ago, it just appeared from nowhere. Maybe it snowed that fell before. Maybe it remembers how to make snowmen. What? Snow that can remember? That's silly. What's wrong with silly? Nothing. Still talking to you, Anna. What's your name? Clara. Nice name. Clara. You should definitely keep it. Goodbye. Oi. Where are you going? I thought we was just getting acquainted. Those were the days. taking an interest again. Was she nice? I just spoke to her. And made your usual impact, no doubt. No, no impact at all. 
Those days are over. You can't help yourself. It's the same story every time, and it always begins with the same two words. She'll never be able to find me again. She doesn't even have the name Doctor. What two words? Doctor? Doctor Who? Why did they call it Spider-Man? Don't they like it? He was bitten by a radioactive spider, and guess what happened? Radiation poisoning, I should think. No, he got special powers. Both vomiting, hair loss, and death. Fat lot of use. Hey. What do you think? That looks... I know. Cheap. Oh, shut up. <coughs> got a cold there, Grant? I always get a cold at Christmas. Me too. What an invasion. Where did you get that from? My pocket. How do you keep a glass of water in your pocket? Skills. Now, hush. I've got a lot of work to do. Take this. Ah. Who are you? The doctor. Yeah, but who are you? The doctor. Which one, though? There's lots of doctors. The one. The main one. The original. I started it. They're all based on me. Now, everyone who wants to sound clever calls themselves doctor. Bandwagon. In a comic book, you know what you'd be called? Doctor Mysterio. Oh, I like that. Dr. Mysterio. I'll have that. Nearly ready. What is it? Well, in terms that you would understand, sorry, there aren't any. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a time distortion equalizer thingy. A what? Well, there's been a lot of localized disruption here in New York, so uh, my fault, actually. Hopefully this will make it all calm down. I don't understand. Uh, do you know what a uh, lightning conductor is? Yeah. Well, it's not like that. I thought you were setting a trap. I was, to protect this. I don't want anyone turning it off or stealing it for a Christmas tree. But it looks like a Christmas tree. Of course it does. It's science. Do you want to turn the lights on? Can I? Go on. It's Christmas Day. What do I do? Ah. Right, you put this into this, and you flick all those little switches on. Yeah, because now we get to the cool bit. Come here. Do you see that little door there? Pop it open. Now we turn on the lights. Pop the gemstone right in there. What gemstone? The gemstone that I gave you. Pop it right in there. That was a gemstone. Well, it's more than just a gemstone. It's also like a kind of onboard computer. Come here. Can you see... Can you see that little yellow star? The end of that curve, it comes from near there. Formed in the heart of a red hole. Stabilized in pure dwarf star crystal. The gemstone is intuitive. It knows what you want. It draws energy from the nearest star to make it happen. There's only four of them left in the universe. The apocalypse monks of the Andorax called this one the Hassandra, the ghost of love and wishes. OK, then. Pop it in. I thought it was medicine. What? It looked like medicine. What have you done with it? Well, he gave me medicine and a glass of water, and he said you were a doctor. I thought it was for my cough. Oh, you swallowed it. You can't go around swallowing things. What age are you, 36? Eight. Am I going to get sick? No, 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 no. Quite the opposite. The opposite? What's the opposite? What happened? Nothing. What's wrong with me? Well, I've got a cough and a slight case of levitation. Stay calm. What happens if I don't stay calm? Don't, don't panic! What happens if I panic? <laughs> This timorous beastie down to earth. Ah! Or not. Uh, I might be in a little bit of trouble. Nothing changes. I've got you. Ah! You idiot! Ah! Ah! Perhaps if you could pull. I am pulling! In this position, I could not pull, could I? <laughs> I suggest you let go, sir. I'm not letting you out of my sight, Doctor. 
Do you recognize me? Look, should I? Have we met? This is hardly the right time for me to go through my social calendar. Oh! 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 Introduce Rosita, my faithful companion, always telling me off. Well, then, you know, eh? Rosita. Good name. Hello, Rosita. Hmm. Now I'll have to go and dismantle the traps. All that for nothing. And we've only got 20 minutes to the funeral, don't forget. <laughs> then back to the TARDIS, right? Funeral? A oh, long story. Not my own, not yet. Oh. Oh. I'm not as young as I was. Well. Oh. Not as young as you were when you were me. When I was who? You really don't recognize me? Not at all. But you're the doctor. The next doctor. Or the next but one, a future doctor anyway. Oh. No, no, don't tell me how it happened. Although, if I don't just trip over a brick, that'd be embarrassing. Then again, painless. Worst ways to go depends on the brick. Well, you're gabbling, sir. Now, might I ask, who are you exactly? No, I'm, uh, I'm just Smith, John Smith. But I've heard all about you, Doctor. Bit of a legend, if I say so myself. Modesty forbids me to agree with you, sir, but yes, <laughs> yes, I am. A legend with certain memories missing, am I right? How do you know that? You've forgotten me. Great swathes of my life have been stolen away. When I turn my mind to the past, there's nothing. Going how far back? Since the Cybermen. Masters of the hellish war scuttler and old enemies of mine, now at work in London town. You won't believe this, Mr. Smith. But they are creatures from another world. Really? Wow. It's said they fell onto London, out of the sky in a blaze of light. And they found me. Something was taken, and something was lost. Once, there was a planet much like any other, and unimportant. This planet sent the universe a message. A bell tolling among the stars, ringing out to all the dark corners of creation, and everybody came to see. Although no one understood the message, everyone who heard it found themselves afraid, except one man, the man who stayed for Christmas. I bring proof of courage and comradeship. What is this ship and why are you here? Identify yourselves by species and planet of origin. Every ship I go on, they just shoot at me. Hang on, I said put me on a ship. I didn't say put me on a Dalek ship. Don't put me on a Dalek ship when I'm holding a broken bit of Dalek. Ow! You did not indicate a preference. Use your head. It's not like you've got a lot of alternatives. They're all here. Daleks, Sontarans, Terileptils, Slavine, and they're not even fighting. They're just parked. Why? The message was received throughout the universe. Yes, yes, the message, the message. Even I can't translate it. I mean, why is everyone here if they don't understand it? You're here. Yeah, well, you know, I'm OCD. What's their excuse? What does this message mean? No, 
No, and remind me, I've got to patch the telephone back through the console unit. This is getting ridiculous. Attention. Information available. OK. You must patch the telephone device back through the console unit. No, 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 not now. Remind me later. When? I don't know, just later. Just pick a time. When? I don't know, just any old time, just when you think I've forgotten. When? Just pick a random number, express that number as a quantity of minutes, and when that time has elapsed, remind me to patch the telephone back through the console unit. Affirmative. How those cyber evenings must fly. <laughs> Hello, the Todd. Emergency. You're my boyfriend. Ding dong. OK, brilliant. I may be a bit rusty in some areas, but I will glance at a manual. No, no. You're not actually my boyfriend. Oh, that was quick. It's a roller coaster, this phone call. But I need a boyfriend really quickly. Well, I hope you're nicer to the next one. No, shut up. Christmas dinner. Me, cooking. So? So I may have accidentally invented a boyfriend. Yeah, I did that once, and there's no easy way to get rid of an android. No, not an android. A pretend one. An imaginary one. And I said she'd be coming to Christmas dinner. Yeah. Handles, that's a new ship. OK, we'll take the TARDIS this time. I just need you to come for Christmas dinner. Just do that for me. Just come to Christmas dinner and be my Christmas date. Sorry, missed that last bit. Got a dash. Don't be alarmed, I come in. Alert, alert. No. Intruder no. detected. The intruder will be upgraded. Oh. Sorry. Oh. I can't go through with it. I... I will fight it. I will not change. Hello? Someone there? Hello? Who is that? I'm the doctor. Oh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Dear me, no. You may be a doctor, but I am the Doctor. The original, you might say. You. How can it be you? Do I know you, sir? This is the South Pole. We're at the South Pole. Of course we are. Don't you know that? This is where it happened. Where what happened? This is it. The very first time that I, well, you, we, regenerated. You're mid-regeneration, aren't you? Your face, it's all over the place. But you're trying to hold it back. What do you know of regeneration? Are you a Time Lord? You know who I am. You must. <laughs> Have you come to take the ship back? The ship? You still call it a ship. Oh, dear. What have you done to it? That's it. The windows. I don't remember That's this. Alongside. I don't remember the trying power. not to change. Sure it's not back then. I mean, look at it. It seems to have expanded. Well, so those years are bigger on the inside. You try sucking your tummy in that long. Why are you trying not to regenerate? I have the courage and the right to live and die as myself. Too late. It started. A few minutes ago, you were weak as a kid, right? Now, you're fine. We're in a state of grace, both of us. But it won't last long. We have a choice. Either we change and go on, or we die as we are. But if you... If you die here... If your future never happens, if you don't do the things that you are supposed to do, the consequences could be... Snow. Snow? Look at it! How extraordinary. Maybe it's us. Maybe it's something else. It's 
somehow. Something has gone very wrong with time. Hello? Sorry. So sorry. I don't suppose either of you is a doctor. You're trying to be funny. Even if I change, it feels like dying. Everything I am dies. Some new man goes sauntering away. And I'm dead. What? I'm sorry, but I had to. Look, can't you make her better? Stop it. No, but you're so clever. Can't you bring her memory back? Look, just go to her now. Go on, just run across the street. Go up and say hello. If she ever remembers me, her mind will burn and she will die. Don't you touch this car. <laughs> She's not changed. No. <laughs> oh, there he is. Sean Temple. They're engaged. Getting married in the spring. Another wedding? Yeah. Hold on, she's not going to be called Noble Temple. It sounds like a tourist spot. No, it's Temple Noble. Right. Is she happy? Is he nice? Yeah, he's sweet enough. He's a bit of a dreamer. Mind you, he's, he's on minimum wage. She's earning tuppence, so all they can afford is a tiny little flat. And then sometimes I see this look on her face, like she's so sad that she can't remember why. She's making do. Aren't we all? Yeah, how about you? Who have you got now? No one. Travelling alone. I thought it was better than. But I did some things, it went wrong. I need. <laughs> Oh, my word. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, and you. <laughs> Look at us. Don't you, don't you see? You need her, Doctor. I mean, look, wouldn't she make you laugh again? Good old Donna. So it came to pass that the players took their final places, making ready the events that were to come. Now, <laughs> where were we? Oh, yes. She's pretty, though, your daughter. Maybe I should keep her. She's not my daughter, sir. She's my sister. She volunteered for the ice when the family were in difficulties many years ago. Sorry. Sorry, sir, the, the president says there's a galaxy-class ship trapped in the cloud layer and, well, we have to let it land. Or? Well, or we'll crash, sir. Oh. Well, that's a kind of landing, isn't it? You know. It's from Earth, sir, registering over 4,000 life forms on board. Oh. <laughs> Not if we wait a bit. You can't just let it crash, sir. Says who? Oh, yeah. Look, Petal, we already have a surplus population. No more people allowed on this planet. I don't make the rules. Oh, no, hang on. I do. I do. Oh. Poor begging people. Off home and pray for a miracle. Sorry, Christmas Eve on a rooftop, saw a chimney, my whole brain just went, what the hell? Don't worry, Fat Fuller will be doing the rounds later. I'm just scoping out the general chimneyness. Yes. Nice size, good traction. Big tick. Fat Fella. Father Christmas. 
Santa Claus, or, as I've always known him, Jeff. Is there such a person as Father Christmas? Oh, yeah. Me and Father Christmas, Frank Sinatra's Hunting Lodge, 1952. See him at the back with the blonde, Albert Einstein, the three of us together. Oh, watch out. OK? Keep your faith. Stay off the naughtiness. Ooh, now what's this, man? I love this. A big flashy lighty thing, that's what brought me here. Big flashy lighty things have got me written all over them. Not actually, but give me time and a crayon. Now, this big flashy lighty thing is connected to the spire in your dome, yeah? And it controls the sky. Well, technically it controls the clouds, which technically aren't clouds at all. Well, they're clouds of tiny particles of ice. Ice clouds love that. Who's she? Nobody important. Nobody important. Blimey, that's amazing. Do you know, in 900 years of time and space, I've never met anyone who wasn't important before. Now, this console is the key to saving that ship. I'll eat my hat if I had a hat. I need someone's hat, not someone who's using their hat. I don't want to shock a nun or something. Sorry, rambling, cuz, cuz, this isn't working! The controls are isomorphic, one to one. They respond only to me. Oh, you fibber. Isomorphic. There's no such thing. Charles Rice and Morphing. The skies of this entire world are mine. My family tamed them, and now I own them. Tame the sky? What does that mean? It means I'm Kazran Sardin. How could he possibly not know who I am? Well, just easily bored, I suppose. seems to be the problem. This is the North Pole. We don't want any trouble here. Hey, Rudolph. Easy, son. Oi, sleepyheads. It's Christmas Eve. Early to bed. Who the hell are you? Take a guess. Go on. Push the boat out. Tooth Fairy, maybe? Easter Bunny? Shut your mouth, wise guy, or you get yours. It's a balloon animal. That's a toy gun. Yeah, well, at least it's unsuitable for children under four. Parts small enough to swallow, so... Watch out. Now, this is ridiculous. Am I... am I dreaming? Oh, very good. I need to know exactly who you are and what's happening here. Hello, Ashley. Lead scientist on a polar expedition. <gasps> that microscope really paid off, didn't it? Now, your mum and dad wanted me to get you a toy one, but sometimes, uh, I take a chance. Who are you? Uh, why are you dressed like that? What do you think? Oh, come on, this is mental. This is totally not happening. I've got three words, Shona. Don't make me use them. What three words? My little pony. Shut up, you. Yeah? I've got lots more, babe. Now we'll mark you, Santa. OK, Doctor, are you, are you going to explain what is going on? It's an invasion, Miss Oswald. An, an invasion of, of what? Elves? Whoa! That is racist. Elfist. Yeah, which is a bit hypocritical from someone of your height. Huh? You seen them before, Doctor? I've heard of them. The Cantrafari. Colloquially known as the Dream Crabs. Yeah. Depending how many of those are already on Earth, the human race may well have seen its last day. So, we can stand about arguing whether I'm real or not, or, uh, 
Are we gonna get busy saving Christmas? Oh, oh, oh Santa goes badass. Oh, he's giving me the feels. Shut up. That's a that's a verbal warning. Please stop it. Address the Sycorax according to Article 15 of the Shadow Proclamation. I command you to leave this world with all the authority of the Slovene Parliament of Rexacorico Palabatorius and um, the Gelf Confederacy as uh, sanctioned by the mighty Jagrafess and, oh, the, the Daleks. Now leave this planet in peace. In peace. Shugan gan frakchile. You are very, very funny. Shugan. Chakchile. And now you're going to die. Leave her alone, don't you? Leave her alone. Did you think you were clever with your stolen words? We are the Sycorax and stride the darkness. Next to us, you are but a wailing child. You are the best your planet can offer as a champion. Then your world then your world will be gutted. Fill and your, your people, people in sleep. Yeah. Hold on, that's English. He's talking English. You're talking English. I would never dirty my tongue with your primitive bio. Oh, that's English. And you were English? Yeah, that's English. Definitely English. I speak only Sigaraxic! Fucking your English. It's being translated. Which means it's working. Which means. Me. Hello? Hello? Hello, are you all right? Are you hurt? Did you fall? Where did you fall from? Oh, oh man. All right, just... just let me... Uh... I don't want to hurt. I'm blind. Oh, no, love, no. I think you've just got your helmet on backwards. How did you manage that? I got dressed in a hurry. Sarah, what are you doing awake? The moon's fault, apparently. It's too interesting. It's astronomy. Don't make up words. It's always making up things and breathing. Where's your father? In the garden. What are you doing in the garden? Agriculture. You're not fooling anyone. Listen, Cyril, tell him that I've borrowed Mr. Goldsmith's car, that I found a spaceman in a field, possibly an angel, but he's injured and I can't get his helmet off, so I'm having to take him into town to find a police telephone box, all right? All right. Good boy. Is that your mother? Where's she going? Out. Into something. No, no. We seem to bump into quite a lot of things. Well, a lot of things get in the way. It's hardly my fault. You need to take that silly thing off. God, impact suit. Still repairing me. Repairing you? Yeah, well, you know. That's the idea. <laughs> Won't it repair you all back to front? No. No. Well, that's good. Oh, oh. there's a street lamp. Yes. I got that impression. Round this way. But don't you want me to take you to hospital or something? Well, you're welcome to come to our house. No, 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 I'm fine. I just need to find the, uh, the key. Well, do you want me to do it with a pin? 
I'm good with a pin. Multidimensional, triple encoded temporal interface. Not really susceptible to pointy things. Oh, huh? Got it. OK. Suddenly, the last 900 years of time travel seemed that bit less secure. Thank you for taking care of me. You didn't have to, you know. You've been very kind. Oh, don't be silly. It's Christmas Eve. No one should be alone at Christmas. What did you say your name was? Madge. Madge Arwell. If there's ever anything that I can do for you, let me know. How? I don't know. Make a wish. That usually works. Does it? Well, did for me. You're here, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't wait around here. Just. Off we go home. I'll just go and, uh, and wait inside here. Ow! Wrong one! Do you think we could try again? <laughs> Are you new? We can't hang around waiting. He could be ages. Yes, he's probably off rebuilding a civilization or defeating giant robot fish. We'll just have to steal it. Sex from the ninth dimension. I'm sorry, what? The hopper is really close. We would be out of here in less than ten minutes. I need time travel. I need this TARDIS. I'm sorry, the word steal. Somebody said steal. Yes, we're going to steal this box. Hush, you wouldn't understand. You can't. Why can't I? You can't just steal a TARDIS a box. Why not? Look, it says police. I have a key. OK. This uh, damsel person, he sounds... He sounds pretty dangerous. Ish. It's a time machine. I can take it, do whatever I want for as long as I like, and pop it back a second later. He'll never know it was gone. Yes, he will. How? He'll just know. Well, he's never noticed before. Maybe he'll notice now. <laughs> I'll see you on Temple Beach. Mm. I've already picked out your swimwear. OK, but be careful. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> you, with me. Bring the head. Please, look after it for me. Oh, before you come in, you better prepare yourself for a shock. It's not as snug as it looks. Finally. Finally. It's my go. God! Oh, it's bigger. Oh, uh, yes. On the inside. Look, we need to concentrate. There it is. Yeah, I know where you're going with this, but I need you to calm down. On the outside? Oh, you certainly grasped the essentials. My entire understanding of physical space has been transformed! Three-dimensional Euclidean geometry has been torn up for an air and slapped to death by grasp of the universal constants of physical reality has been changed forever. Sorry. I've always wanted to see that done properly. Would you like a drink? Order brown brandy. Help yourself. Don't tell Dad. What's that noise? It seems to have powered down conserving batteries. It's an inbuilt life support system. I'm not sure what powers it. Maybe really pop. don't care. What's that noise? I don't know. Signal? Distress call? Homing beacon. Possibly. So the rest of him's coming. Well, he must be very cross. He's lost his hair. Time we were off, then. <laughs> Press that button. Why? That's evacuates the waste tank on deck seven. That's it. What is wrong with you? I avoid deck seven then. Something's interfering with the engines, which is technically not possible. Uh, maybe. How would you know? Maybe the engines are interfering with themselves. Wild theory, but what if this machine had certain safeguards? For instance, maybe it can't take off when a life form registers as being both inside and outside at the same time. Head and body. <laughs> Which would mean, and again, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wildly theorizing here that the door would not engage properly. Of course, it can't seal the real time envelope. Hence, it can't take off. Not when someone is in and out at the same time. I mean, that just wouldn't be good manners, would it? You're very quick. Yes, for a doctor. Yes. Seriously. Excuse me. I'm begging you. I'm getting married. 
I really am, and I'm late, and I just need to borrow a ten, and I'll pay you back, I promise, and it's Christmas. <laughs> No one's going to hurt you. What is that thing? Silence, boy! That's Strax, and as you can see, he's easily confused. Silence, girl! Sorry, lad. Sontar and Clone Warrior race factory produce whole legions at a time. Two genders is a bit further than he can count. Sir, do not discuss my reproductive cycle in front of enemy girls. It's embarrassing. Typical middle child of six million. Who are you? It doesn't matter, because you're about to forget that you and I ever met. We'll need the worm. Sir? You'll need the what? The worm? What worm? Don't worry, it won't hurt you, but one touch on your bare skin and you lose the last hour of your memory. Where is it? Where's what, sir? I sent you to get the memory worm. Did you? When? Who's he? What are we doing here? Look, it's been snowing. You didn't use the gauntlets, did you? Why would I need the gauntlets? Do you want me to get the memory worm? Can you see it? I think I can hear it. <laughs> Oi! Don't try to run away. Stay where you are. <laughs> Why would I run? I know it's going to happen next, and it's funny. What's funny? Well, your little pal for a start. It's ugly little fella, isn't he? Maybe. He gave his life for a friend of mine once. And how come he's alive? Another friend of mine brought him back. I'm not sure all his brains made the return trip. Neither am I. I can see it. Ooh! Can you reach it? Have you got it? Got what, sir? 
Because these are the gauntlets, aren't they? Sir, emergency! I think I've been run over by a cab! There you go. One touch and you lose about an hour of your memory. Let it bite you! And you could lose... decades. And you're still not trying to run. I don't understand how the snowman built itself. I'll run, once you've explained. Clara who? Doctor who? Oh, dangerous question. What's wrong with dangerous? Now well, it's a low-level telepathic snowman. field. It seems to reflect people's thoughts and memories. And because it's unusual, somehow it carries a previous shape. No, Doctor! My snowman. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Well, were you thinking about it? Yes. Well, stop. Clara, stop thinking about the snowman! Clara, listen to me. The snow's feeding off your thoughts. I don't understand. You're caught in their telepathic field. They're mirroring you. The more you think about the snowmen, the more they appear. Imagine them melted. Picture it. Picture them melted! Well, very good. Very, very good. Uh, ha! Is that going to happen again? Well, if it does, you know what to do about it. Unless I forget. Don't come looking for me. Forget about me, do you understand? What about the snow? Shouldn't we be warning people? Not my problem. Merry Christmas. Take her back where we found her. Sir. to ask questions. Stick to science. Something wrong with your eyes? Sir, the first time I came in here, I counted 24 specimens. The second time I counted, there were 30. Now there are 36. Wow, well, I guess they got the space. You don't understand. There have been no deliveries. I checked it. Some of these brains, sir, they just... arrived. But that's a fluid, right? Yes, that's the fluid. Tap the glass, sir. What did you say? Tap the glass, please. What? What the hell is that? Is that a joke? No, sir, it's not a joke. It's got eyes. Look at them, they're like... Your eyes. Yes, sir. They are. Dr. Sim. What are you pointing at? I'm pointing at Dr. Sim. Don't look so alarmed. We merely exchange containers. You might call this a... Uh...
coming. What are you doing? I need to talk to the captain. You've got a meteoroid storm coming in West Zero by North 2. Who is this? Never mind that. Your shields are down. Check your scanners, Captain. You've got meteoroids coming in and no shielding. You have no authorization. You will clear the comms at once. Yeah, just real up. Stop it! If you could come with me, sir. But he's right, sir. The shields have been taken offline. Step away from there. But we have to re-energize him. I said step away, midshipman. Rockstorm heading for the ship, and the shields are down! You promised me old men. I'm sorry, sir. On the crew. Sea dogs, men who'd had their time. Not boys. Everyone, listen to me! This is an emergency! Get to the light! I'm sorry, sir. It's my duty! Windows! You there. Has anyone checked the external shielding? Information. You are all going to die. Where's the chief steward? Uh, he went that way, sir. The shields are down. We are going to get hit. It seems to be working. You're going to kill us. I'm dying already. Six months. They offered me so much money. For my family. Boy, Stuart! I'm telling you, the shields are down. Listen to him. Listen to him! Max Capricorn. Darling, come and have a look at this. Red alert. Red alert. The furthest. The best. The best. Great, yeah, yeah, it's doing great. Well, dead and decapitated, but that's Christmas when you're a turkey. <laughs> Actually, maybe I will have a little more. Oh, there you go, Gran. Did you put it in early enough? Dad will put it in when you phone me. I emailed you some instructions. Ooh, you certainly did. Yes. 
I am naked. I wondered if you'd notice. Doctor, why are you naked? Because I'm going to church. Ooh. Better? Oh, that was quick. Hologram clothes projected directly onto your visual cortex. So you're still naked underneath? Everybody's naked underneath. Ew, I don't say things like that. It's Christmas. I'll meet my family. Hello. So, uh, here he is. Hello, the Oswalds! Hello! Merry Christmas! Hello! Hello! Hello, handsome. Anyone for Twister? So, this is the Doctor, my boyfriend. <laughs> Isn't anybody going to say hello? Hello. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. Yes. I've got an idea to break the ice. Why don't I project my clothes hologram onto their visual cortexes too? So, to be clear, no one except me can see your clothes? Yes, and I'm starting to think it may be causing tension. Are we playing Twister now? Hey? Sorry. Sorry. He's Swedish. Doctor, please. Oh, that's never going to work, is it? It's wrong. I don't think it's done yet. I think a decent vet would give it an even chance. OK, well, use an app. An app? On your screwdriver, app it. Most certainly not. It doesn't do turkey. Nothing does turkey. You'd need a time machine. What? You can't keep using the TARDIS like this. Like what? Miss birthdays, restaurant bookings, and please just learn how to use iPlayer. Ooh, vortex cooking. Yep, exposure to the time winds. It'll either come up a treat or just possibly lay some eggs. Information available. What's that? Just a bit of a cyberman. He'll get us to the church on time. Here's what's going to happen. First, I'm going to escape. You with me? Where are we going? Escape is not possible. It is possible, and it is happening. And I'm taking Bill and the captain with me. Why are you advertising your intentions? Can't you stop boasting for a moment? Mr. Pastry, too, I could do with a laugh. Escape is not possible. Oh, I'm going to do way more than escape. I'm going to find out who you are and what you are doing. And if I don't like it, I will come back and I will stop you. I will stop all of you. Who the hell do you think you are? The doctor. I am the Doctor. Who oh, you are, I cannot begin to imagine. Then let us show you, Doctor. See who you will become. Dark, dark. That's not it. No, no, that's, that, that's not a good idea. They all die. The Doctor has walked in blood through all of time and space. The Doctor has many names. Ryan, the Beast of Trenzeron, the Butcher of Skull Moon, the Last Tree of Farsenoff, the Destroyer of Scarrow. He is the Doctor of War. What, what was that? To be fair, they cut out all the jokes. Do what I do when I do it. Is that a 
another TARDIS? No. No, it's another of the same TARDIS. Hang on, the window's the wrong size. Inside, quickly. Take off, now. Deep space, anyway. They are info stamps. I mean, at a guess. Uh, if I were you, I'd say they worked something like this. See? Compressed information. Tons of it. That is the history of London, 1066 to the present day. This is like a disc, cyber disc. Why are there so many? Something so simple. They've got to be wireless. Unless they're in the wrong century. They haven't got much power. They need plain old basic info stamps to update themselves. You all right? But No, what is it? What's wrong? I've seen one of these before. I was holding this device. The night I lost my mind. The night I regenerated. The Cybermen, they made me change. My mind, my face, my whole self. And you were there. Who are you? Friend. I swear. If I beg you, John, help me. Ah. Oh. Two words I never refuse. But it's not a conversation for a dead man's house. It'll make more sense if we go back to the TARDIS. Your, uh, TARDIS. Hold on. I just need to do a little final check. Won't take a tick. Because there's one more thing I can't think of. If this room's got info stamps, then maybe, just maybe, it's got something that needs info stamping. OK. I think we should run. Now, Doctor. Eat. The doctor will be deleted. Delete. Stairs, can't leave them outside. Delete. I'm a damn hand with a cutlass. You don't want to come near me when I've got one of these. This is your last warning. Huh? Okay, this is really your last warning. Okay, I give up. Delete. Listen to me properly. Whatever you're doing, stuck in the 1950s, I can help. I'm the doctor. You need me. Check your memory banks. My name's the doctor. Leave this man alone. The doctor is me. Delete. The doctor, remember? Ah! I'm the doctor. Ah! You need me alive. You need the doctor. And that's me. Cyclostonum core. You ripped open the core and broke the safety. Zap! <laughs> Only the doctor would think of that. I did that. Last time. Come here, you'll be okay. Let me just check. You told them you were the doctor. Why did you do that? Oh, we're just protecting you. You're trying to take away the only thing I've got. Like they did. They stole something. Something so precious, but. I can't remember what happened to me. What did they do? We'll find out. You and me together. Hello, fishy. Let's see. Interesting. Crystalline fog, eh? Maybe carrying a tiny electrical charge. Is that how you fly, little fishy? What is it? What kind? Can I see? Just stay there a moment. Is it big? Nah. Just a little one. 
So, little fella, what do you eat? How little? Um, Can't come out. No, no. Maybe just wait there for a moment. Oh, what colour is it? Big. Big colour. Concentrating on the pluses, you've definitely got a story of your own now. Also, I got a good look at the fish, and I think I understand how the fog works, which is going to help me land a spaceship in the future and save a lot of lives. And I better get some very interesting readings off my sonic screwdriver when I get it back from the shark in your bedroom. There's a shark in my bedroom. Oh, fine. Focus on that. Has it gone? What's it doing? What do you call it if you don't have any feet? And you're taking a run up. No! It's going to eat us. 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 Well, maybe we're going to eat it, but I don't like the odds. Stop. Let's see. Tiny shot, man. If I had my screwdriver, I could probably send a pulse and stun it. Well, where's your screwdriver? Well, concentrating on the pluses. Within reach. You know, there's a real chance the way it's wedging the door is keeping its mouth open. There is. Just agree with me, because I've only got two goes, and then it's your turn. Two goes? Two arms. Right then. Okay. Open wide. What's the big fishy done to you? Swallowed half you, that's what. Half a screwdriver, what use is that? Bad, big fishy. Doctor? I think she's dying. Half my screwdriver's still inside. But yeah, I think so. I doubt they can survive long outside the cloud belt. Just quit raiding trips on a foggy night. <laughs> Can't we get it back up there? We were just gonna stun it. I didn't want to kill it. She was trying to eat you. She was hungry. I'm sorry, Kazran. I can't save her. I could take her back up there, but she'd never survive the trip. We need a fully functioning life support. You mean like an icebox? Okay. What's real? Is that there is an alien organism wrapped around your face, keeping you warm and happy while it eats you. Mince pie, anyone? You're dying. If this is a dream, how can you be here? How can we both be having the same dream? There was only one way to get to you. And what was that? I'm dying too. Have we just killed him? He just made it worse. He thinks he can join the dream. Get her out. With my little faith. You just wake up, just leave me here, please. You have a pain right here. It's like an ice cream pain, but gentle. Do you know what that is? The skin and bone have been parted. Probably half an inch. And something is pushed right into the soft tissue of your brain and is very slowly dissolving it. I wanted to picture it this way. Somebody has put a straw right through your skull and is drinking you. You should be screaming with agony with this anesthetic. Everything around you right now, even Danny, especially Danny, that's the anesthetic. Why are you doing this? Why are you saying all of that? Because it's true. How long do you think you've been here? All day. No, 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 no. Barely five minutes. Because dream time goes faster. Because this isn't real. Danny isn't real. Danny Pink died saving the world. I really didn't. I'm sorry. I thought there was a way back for him, but I was wrong. I can't change that. He's dead. I didn't die saving the world, Doctor. I died saving Clara. The rest of you just got lucky. How long has she gone? Minutes till it's irreversible. Well, then get out of the way. I'm a dream, and you know I am, right? Right, one thing. But it's important. It's a very important thing. 
That is totally how you guessed all of my presents. <laughs> I miss you. Five minutes. What? You can miss me for five minutes a day. And you better do it properly. You better be sad. I expect my five. But all the rest of the time, Clara, all the rest of the time, every single second, you just get the hell on with it. Clear? Don't you soldier me. Do as you told me. <laughs> Brave. Dead already. How does she wake up? I don't know. Just try. Accept this isn't real and try. And do it for me. <laughs> when I wake up, you won't be there. Do you know why people get together at Christmas? Because every time they do, it might be the last time. Every Christmas is last Christmas, and this is ours. This was a bonus. This is extra. <laughs> now it's time to wake up. Think like me. They're gonna become me. was always your favorite doctor but now there is no human race there is only the master race <laughs> Mr. Cardew. 
I agree. But I don't understand. Are you the new caretaker? Usually call the doctor or the caretaker or get off this planet. Though, strictly speaking, that probably isn't a name. Hello, Madge Arwell. Hello. And Cyril Arwell. And Lily Arwell. Now, come on, come on, Ross. To see Whistle Stop Talk. Take notes, there will be questions. Smaller sitting room. Just chairs, a bit pointless without a television. So, I made some repairs. I know. Kitchen! That's a cooker, probably. And these are taps. Hot, cold, lemonade. Lemonade? I know. Stairs! Seems to have broken down. We'll have to walk up. I sleep up there, stay away. Beware of panthers. Panthers? They're terrifying. Have you never seen panthers? Cyril! <laughs> Mum's bedroom. Grown up, your basic boring. <laughs> Lily and Cyril's room. I'm going to be honest. Masterpiece, the ultimate bedroom. A sciencey, wine workbench, a jungle, a maze, a window disguised as a mirror, a mirror disguised as a window, selection of torches for midnight feasts and secret reading, Zen garden, mysterious cupboard, zone of tranquility, rubber wall, dream tank, exact model of the rest of the house, not quite to scale, apologies, dolls with comical expressions, the Magna Carta, a football, Cluedo, the yellow fort. Where are the beds? Well, I couldn't fit everything in. There had to be sacrifices. Anyway, who needs beds when you've got... Hammocks! I know. How do you get on? Watch and learn, kid. God's sake! This hammock has developed a fault. We have to assume the body is homing in on this. So how do we stop it? Well, we could chop his head off. Oh, look. Does sarcasm help? Wouldn't it be a great universe if it did? So summing it up, it's coming, we can't take off, we can't seal the doors. Yep. So, we just kill the head, right? You can't shoot the head in the face! Why not? Go on then, tell him to put his hands up. Do not fire if you value your lives. Why, what are you going to do? Kill me and my body will burn! Burn what? This world! Inquiry! Are you acquainted with the criminal River Song? That wasn't me, that was him. Repeat, are you acquainted with the criminal River Song? Please, just answer it. Yes. You will take River Song a message. What message? Suppose we believe you. How? My body contains a split quantum actualizer. A perpetually stabilized black hole. That's your power source. What sort of medical school did you go to? A really good one for doctors. More than a power source. If necessary, a bomb. So you could wipe out the solar system. It wouldn't be the first. It would be your last. A fitting end for the glory of Hydroflax. So why haven't you threatened this before? A king does not endanger his people for no reason. You're endangering them now. I'm cross. That's a song. Are you there? I have a message for you. Ramon! Get in here!
Vicky, hello. And Harriet Jones and people flying down north. Blimey, it's like this is your life. Tea. That's all I needed. Good cup of tea. Superheated infusion of free radicals and tannin. Just the thing for heating the synapses. Now, first things first. Be honest. How do I look? Um... Different. Good different or bad different? Just different. Am I... Ginger? No, you're just sort of brown. Yeah, I wanted to be ginger. I've never been ginger. And you, Rose Tyler, fell on good you were. You gave up on me. Oh, that's rude. Is that sort of man I am now? Am I rude? Rude and not ginger. I'm sorry, who is this? I'm the doctor. He's the doctor. Well, what happened to my doctor? Or is it a title that's just passed on? I'm him. I'm literally him. Same man, new face. Well, new everything. But you can't be. Harriet Jones. We were trapped in Downing Street, and the one thing that scared you wasn't the aliens, wasn't the war. It was the thought of your mother being on her own. Oh, my God. Did you win the election? Landslide majority. If I might interrupt. Yes, sorry. Hello, big fella. Who exactly are you? Well, that's the question. I yeah. demand to know who you are. I don't know. See, that's the thing. I'm a doctor, but beyond that, I... I just don't know. I literally do not know who I am. It's all untested. Am I funny? Am I sarcastic? Sexy? Right old misery? Life and soul? Right-handed, left-handed, a gambler, a fighter, a coward, a traitor, a liar, a nervous wreck? I mean, judging by the evidence, I've certainly got a goal. And how am I gonna react when I see this? A great big threatening button. <laughs> A great big threatening button which must not be pressed under any circumstances. Am I right? Let me guess, it's some sort of control matrix. Hmm? Hold on, what's feeding it? And what have we got here? Blood? Yeah, definitely. Blood. Human blood. A positive. With just a dash of iron. Ha. Ah. But that means. Blood control. Blood control! Oh! I haven't seen blood control for years! You're controlling all the A positives. Which leaves us with a great big stinking problem. Because I really don't know who I am. I don't know when to stop. So if I see a great big threatening button which should never ever ever be pressed, then I just want to do this. No! What the hell am I doing up here? Get away from the edge! What do you think, big fella? Are they dead? We allow them to live. Allow? You've no choice. See, that's all blood control is. A cheap bit of voodoo. It scares the pants off you, but that's as far as it goes. It's like hypnosis. You can hypnotise someone to walk like a chicken or sing like Elvis. You can't hypnotise them to death. Survival instinct's too strong. Blood control was just one form of conquest. I could summon the Armada and take this world by force. Well, yeah, you could, yeah. You could do that, of course you could. But why? Look at these people, these human beings. Consider their potential from the day they arrive on the planet and blinking step into the sun. There is more to see than can ever be seen. More to do than... No, hold on. Sorry, that's the Lion King. But the point still stands. Leave them alone! Or what? Or... Challenge you. Do not attempt to escape, or you will be obliterated. May I take your coat? Sit. There are two refreshments in your world, the color of red wine. This is not red wine. Madam Vastra will ask you questions. You will confine yourself to single word responses. One word only. Do you understand? Why? Truth is singular. Lies are words, words, words. You met the doctor, didn't you? Yes. And now you've come looking for him again. Why? Take your time. One word only. 
curiosity. About Snow? And about him? Yes. What do you want from him? Help. Why? Danger. Why would he help you? Kindness. The doctor is not kind. No? No. The doctor doesn't help people. Not anyone, not ever. He stands above this world and doesn't interfere in the affairs of its inhabitants. He is not your salvation, nor your protector. Do you understand what I am saying to you? What? He was different once, a long time ago. Kind, yes. A hero, even. A saver of worlds. But he suffered losses which hurt him. Now he prefers isolation to the possibility of pain's return. Kindly choose a word to indicate your understanding of this. Man. We are the doctor's friends. We assist him in his isolation, but that does not mean we approve of it. So, a test for you. Give me a message for the doctor. Tell him all about the snow and what fresh danger you believe it presents. And above all, explain why he should help you. <laughs> but do it in one word. thinking it's impossible such a word exists or that you could even find it. Let's see if the gods are with you. Yes? What? I'm trying to read. Miss Clara and her concerns about the snow? I gave her the one word test. It was pointless. What did she say? Well, well, Pond. Who are you? Lucy Fletcher, a reporter from the Daily Chronicle. Hang on. Why am I telling you the truth? Spooky, isn't it? Looking for a story. I think I just found one. Brains with minds of their own. No one will believe that. This is America. Who are you? Special Agent Dan. Dangerous from Scotland Yard. Scotland. The doctor, for short. See, they've got institutes all over the world. They're always in capital cities. Nope. Yes. Yes, they are. See? New York's not a capital city, is it? You don't need to point out the mistakes. That's not what you're for. Washington's got its own one, yeah. I would call security, but they might leave you alive. I do not want any awkward questions about the intruders I was forced to shoot for my own protection. Good plan. Here's another one. Go on. Tell them you shot us in the back in self-defense. We'll be laughing all the way to the slab. Face me. Maybe not. Face me now. What is that? It's not me. It sounds like... Like someone knocking at a window. We're on the hundredth floor. Oh my God, he's real. Who's real? The ghost. Who's the ghost? Masked vigilante, but he's... What? Super. Impressive. Those windows, like everything in this building, are built to withstand a blast equivalent to four nuclear explosions. Sorry about that. Would you like me to call a glazier? Hmm.
light to moderate injury is fine. That is good. Hello. Was that man annoying you? You're real? I can't believe it. You're ac actually real. I'm afraid I am. I enjoy your column, Miss Fletcher. You read my column? You read? You're real and you read. Though I find the political bias in your paper's editorial not entirely to my taste. I'll pass that off. Thank you. And who are these gentlemen? They're, um... I don't actually know. Uh, this is my friend Nardole. Hello, the ghost. And I'm the doctor. The doctor? I thought we had lots of doctors. I'm the main one. Can I give you a ride home? Do you have a car? No. <laughs> I hope you're okay with heights. I'm okay so far. Have a good evening, gentlemen. This seems nice. What happened? How come the shields were down? I don't think it was an accident. How many dead? We're alive. Just focus on that. I will get you out of here, Astrid. I promise. Look at me. I promise. Good. Now, if we can get to reception, I've got a spaceship tucked away. We can all get on board and... Oh. What is it? What's wrong? That's my ship over there. Where? Yeah, that box. That little blue box. That's a spaceship? Oi! Don't knock it. It's a bit small. A bit distant. Trouble is, once it's set adrift, it's programmed to lock onto the nearest center of gravity, and that would be the Earth. Function. And what's that? Information to kill. What are you doing? Post, I'm ordering you. Stop it. Stop it right now. Deck 22 to the bridge. Deck 22 to the bridge. Is there anyone there? Oh, this is the bridge. Oh. Hello, sailor. Good to hear you. What's the situation up there? Uh, we've got air. The ocean field is holding. But the captain, he's dead. He did it. My oh, mother, he took down the shields. There was nothing I could do. I tried. I did. All right, just stay calm. Tell me your name. What's your name? Midshipman Frank. Nice to meet you, sir. What's the state of the engines? They're up, um... oh. Hold on. Whoa. Have you been injured? I'm all right. Oh, my fault. They're, they're cycling down. That's the nuclear storm drive, yes? Yeah. The moment they're gone, we lose all bit. The planet? Oh, yes. If we hit the planet, the nuclear storm explodes and wipes our life on Earth. Midshipman, I need you to fire up the engine containment field and feed it back into the core. This is never going to work. Trust me, it'll keep the engines going till I can get to the bridge. We're going to die. Are you saying uh, so? We are. We're going to die. We're going to die from this ship. First things first. One, we are going to climb through this ship. B, no. Two, we are going to reach the bridge. Three, or C, we are going to save the Titanic. And coming in a very low fall, or D, or that little IV in brackets, they're using footnotes. Why? Right then, follow me. Hang on a minute. Who put you in charge? And who the hell are you anyway? I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord. I'm from the planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Casterberus. I'm 903 years old, and I'm the man who's going to save your lives and all six billion people on the planet below. You got a problem with that? No. In that case. Hello, Z.
You okay? Fine. Yeah, fine. Sorry. Right. This is my personal teleport. I can put you down just outside the town, find the source of the message, and report back to me in one hour. And on your life, Doctor, you will cause no trouble down there. When do I? Don't ask that. What? I'm not an idiot. Everyone in this church is trained to see straight through holograms. Ah, great. Give now. You're taking no technology of any kind down there. What can I do with a key? You, in, now. You could summon your TARDIS. The TARDIS doesn't work by remote. Fine, if it makes you feel any better, there we are. Remember, I want you back in one hour. There's a heat loss filter in your hologram shell. It'll kick in. Just give it a moment. So, Ooh. sweet little town, covered in snow, half the universe in terror. Why? Why? Oh, my God. What? Something under the snow. It's... What is it? Cold. OK, just stand back, please, Clara. <laughs> it's stone. It's just stone. It's only a statue. Clara, step away from it. <gasps> All right, keep looking at it. Don't look away. Don't even blink. What is it? There is a weeping angel under the snow. Looks like a statue is in a statue. Can you get your foot out? I can't even get it out of my shoe. You're not wearing a shoe. Good point. OK, just pull hard. I'm trying. Oh, one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Keep looking at them, at all of them. Why? Quantum lock life form. It can only move if it's unobserved. What are they doing here? Same as everybody else, they must have got past Tasha's shield. Oh. Oh. Keep looking! Oh, I can't, I can't see! The snow's in my eyes! No, I just need to bring the TARDIS down. You can't fly it remotely! No, but it can hold it on the key. You should take the old key! She took one of them. Engines activating. The old key in the quiff routine. Classic. OK. Homing in on the mysterious message. Ooh, yes, I like that. The mysterious message. You shaved your head. Yep. Clever plan to get us past the shield. You got bored one night, didn't you? Yeah, tiny bit bored. Is that what happened to your eyebrows? No, they're just delicate. Right. Setting us down near the signal source. I'm going to turn the engines on silent. Don't want to make a fuss. Put it back on. Why? Ears are like rocket fins. I know. Now, Rusty, you know that I'm dying. And if you don't want me to go off and die somewhere else where you can't watch, you're gonna have to stop shooting at me. I agree to your terms. Well, I'm gonna need some proof. You know what? You're the very first Dalek that ever got naked for me. You're the first one, yeah? Like, the original version of the Doctor. My dear, you should get back to the ship. This place isn't safe. You're the one who stole the TARDIS and ran away. The Captain might be needing you. No, the Captain's fine. Why did you do it? Oh, I'm sure your Doctor has explained. Not even sure he remembers. There were many pressing reasons. I don't mean what you ran away from. What were you running to? That's rather a good question. Questions are kind of my thing. How are you with answers? Been a long time. Remember the good old days? When I got miniaturized and I climbed around inside it? You taught me to hate the Daleks. Billions of years ago. What you been up to since then? Destroying Daleks. Yes. All the ones who come here to murder you, yes, I saw the mess outside. Why are you here? As a Dalek, you are linked into the Dalek hive mind. All Daleks are. Biggest database I know. I'd like to access it. 
Why would I help you? Because helping me in any way does something wonderful. It hurts the Daleks. There is good, and there is evil. I left Gallifrey to answer a question of my own. By any analysis, evil should always win. Good is not a practical survival strategy. It requires loyalty, self-sacrifice, and uh, love. Uh, so why does good prevail? What keeps the balance between good and evil in this appalling universe? Is there some kind of logic? Some mysterious force? Perhaps there's just a bloke. A bloke? Yeah. Perhaps there's just some bloke wandering around, putting everything right when it goes wrong. Well, that would be a nice story, wouldn't it? That would be the best. But the real world is not a fairy tale. You dash around the universe trying to figure out what's holding it all together, and you really, really don't know. You know me in the future. Do I ever understand? No. I really don't think you do. Everyone who's ever met you does. You're amazing, Doctor. Never forget that. Never, ever. Well, that's uh, very kind of you. We just needed to understand you, Doctor. He found the Cybermen too. And just like you, exactly like you, he took hold of an info stamp. But he's dead. Jackson Lake is dead. Cybermen murdered him. You said no body was ever found. And you kept all the suitcases, but you could never bring yourself to open them. I told you the answer was in the fob watch. Can I see? Jackson Lakes. Jackson Lake is you, sir. But I'm the doctor. You became the doctor. Because the info stamp you picked up was a book about one particular man. The Cybermen's database. Started from the Daleks inside the board, I'd say. But it's everything you could want to know about the Doctor. That's you. Time Lord, TARDIS, enemy of the Cybermen. The one and the only. You see, the info stamp must have backfired. Streamed all that information about me Right inside your head. I am nothing but a lie. No, 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 no. Info stamps are just facts and figures. All that bravery. Saving Rosita, defending London town. Hmm? The invention, building a TARDIS, that's all you. And what else? Tell me what else. There's still something missing, isn't there? I demand you tell me, sir. Tell me what they took. Sorry. Really, I am so sorry. But that's an awful lot of luggage for one man. Because an info stamp is plain technology. It's not enough to make a man lose his mind. What you suffered is called a fugue. 
a fugue state where the mind just runs away because it can't bear to look back. You wanted to become someone else because Jackson Lake had lost so much. Midnight. Christmas Day. I remember. Two shorks. I'm very good at card tricks. It wasn't the three of clubs. Well, of course it wasn't, because it was the seven of diamonds. No. Boy, stop it. You're doing it wrong. I see him around the town sometimes. Never any friends. He's got me. All those Christmas Eves. He never once came to see us. I'm here now. Then stay. Stay for tomorrow. Have Christmas dinner with us. I can't. Well, then. Tomorrow's Christmas dinner is cancelled as my sister refuses to attend. Is it dinner? Instead, we'll have it tonight. Three, two, one, <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? Your car, I believe. No. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Till the next one. I look forward to it. Now I'd like to say goodnight to Catarine. Of course, yes. Well, on you go. Oh, oh. Yes, right, sorry. I'll, um, I'll go then. Good night. Good luck. Night. Good night. I think you're right. I've never kissed anyone before. What do I do? Well, try and be all nervous and rubbish and a bit shaky. Why? Because you're going to be like that anyway. You might as well make it part of the plan, then it'll feel on purpose. Off you go then. Oh, no. I, I kiss her now. Catherine, trust me, it's this. Or go to a room and design a new kind of screwdriver. Don't make my mistakes now. Go. The doctor is going to do a duet with Frank. <laughs> Abigail. What's wrong? I have something to tell you. A bad thing? A very bad thing. What is it? The truth. Guys, we've really got to go quite quickly. I just accidentally got engaged to Marilyn Monroe. You... Is... How do you keep going like that? Do you breathe out your ears? Hello? Sorry. Hello? Guys, she's phoned a chapel. There's a car outside. This is happening now. Right. 
fine, thank you. I'll just go and get married, then, shall I? See how you like that. Marilyn! Get your coat! What are we gonna do? There is nothing to be done. To death, okay, yeah. But it's it's just a dream. This dream just killed your friend. Start taking it seriously. Where's Albert? Where's the professor? He probably just woke up. Someone in the real world dead. If we don't wake up now, we'll do the same. But how? I don't know. The TARDIS! Come on! Come on! Doctor! Not the real TARDIS! Well, let's hope that I treated it really well, then. It's us! Of course it's us. We're dreaming, too. Oh, my God. How is that possible? How can there be so many? The logic of a nightmare. Imagination. Excuse me? Dream yourselves home. No! Come on, it's Christmas, the North Pole. Who are you gonna call? Fortunately, I know all your home addresses. Yeah! What happens now? Yeah. This is us just waking up, right? Could be. Well, I hope so. Waking up, or just focus on this. Do you believe in Santa Claus? I've always believed in Santa Claus. But he looks a little different to me. Construct, currently representing either my recovering or expiring mind. Yes, but do you want to go? Yeah, all right. By chance, I'm still within the first 15 hours of my regeneration cycle, which means I've got just enough residual cellular energy to do this. Whoa. 
witchcraft. Time Lord. Doctor! Oh, so I'm still the doctor then? No arguments from me! You wanna know the best bit? This new hand. It's a fighting hand! <laughs> I'll spare your life if you'll take this champion's command. Leave this planet and never return. What'd you say? Yes, swear on the blood of your species. I swear. Hey, well then, thanks for that. Cheers, big fella. Bravo! That says it all. Bravo! Ah, not bad for a man in his gym jams. Very Arthur Dent. Now, there was a nice man. Oh, the, what have I got in here? A Satsuma. Ah, oh, that friend of your mother's. He does like his snacks, doesn't he? But doesn't that just sum up Christmas? You go through all those presents, and right at the end, tucked away at the bottom, there's always one stupid old Satsuma. Who wants Satsuma? No second chances. I'm that sort of a man. You were lying about the Panthers. Famous last words. Why have you got a phone box in your room? It's not a phone box, it's my wardrobe. I've just painted it to look like a phone box. Well, what are you doing? Rewiring. Why would you rewire a wardrobe? Have you seen the way I dress? Who are you? Really, who are you? Your brother, where is he? in bed asleep. Okay. Faulty then. which uh, many of us on this ship would be happy to see his career cut off, <laughs> as it were, at the neck. Proceed faster, or your head will be taken. I would give my head with gladness. This woman is the known consort of the Doctor. Confirmation required. Uploading. Ooh. 
Ooh. Is Riversong the consort of the Time Lord known as the Doctor? Huh? I think so, yeah. Here, yeah, can I stay up for a bit? It's really very whiffy down there. Oh. Oh, awful. So, where is the Doctor now? I haven't the faintest idea. Is that credible? It's true. You're the woman he loves. No, I'm not. She's lying. The Doctor does not and has never loved me. I'm not lying. Confirmed. The life form is not lying. I impossible. This is a trick. No, it isn't. My information is correct. You are the woman who loves the Doctor. Yes, I am. I've never denied it. But whoever said he loved me back, he's the Doctor. He doesn't go around falling in love with people. And if you think he's anything that small or that ordinary, then you haven't the first idea of what you're dealing with. Your Majesty, I assure you, she is the perfect bait. When this woman is in danger, the Doctor will always come. Oh, you are a moron. No, he won't. He's probably already here. No, he isn't. Of course he isn't. Possibly on this ship. Well, go on. Scan it, then. Go on, why don't you? Uh, River. Two hearts, stupid clothes. You can't miss him. River. Go on, scan the whole parsec. He's not here. God knows where he is right now, but I promise you, he's doing whatever the hell he wants and not giving a damn about me. And I'm just fine with that. River. When you love the Doctor, it's like loving the stars themselves. You don't expect a sunset to admire you back. And if I happen to find myself in danger, let me tell you, the Doctor is not stupid enough or sentimental enough, and he is certainly not in love enough to find himself standing in it with me. Conversation explained. You keep out of this. Let's get to work. Okay, what have you got? Four exits, two concealed, one in the ceiling. There's also one in the floor. No, I don't like it. Too close to the engine ducts? A bit too tight. Oh, I hope you're not being personal. I excuse me, what are you talking about? Hush, Mummy and Daddy are busy. There we are. Two o'clock. Here we go. So cease this conversation. Oh, darling, in the event of a sudden meteor strike on the lower starboard decks, where would you say is the safest place to stand? Meteor strike? Exactly here, I should think. Do you know what that isn't? A coincidence. An escape plan. It's cheaper than a taxi. What meteor strike? Alert. Meteor storm imminent. That meteor strike. Alert. How could you know? Meteor I'm an archaeologist from the future. I dug you up. <laughs> Want to see? I suppose. Hold on, scanners a bit small. Maybe you're always best. Come on. No human's ever seen this. You'll be the first. All I want to see is my bed. Donna Noble, welcome. The creation of the Earth. We've gone back 4.6 billion years. There's no solar system, not yet. Only dust and rocks and gas. That's the sun. Over there, brand new. Just beginning to burn. Where's the Earth? Us. In the dust. Puts the wedding in perspective. Lance was right, we're just tiny. No, but that's what you do. The human race. Makes sense out of chaos. Marking it out with weddings and Christmas and calendars. 
only if it's being observed. So I came out of all this? Isn't that brilliant? Well, I think that's the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Eventually, gravity takes hold. Say, one big rock, heavier than the other, starts to pull other rocks towards it. All the dust and gas and elements get pulled in, everything piling in until you get... The Earth. But the question is, what was that first rock? Look. Arachnos. Now I have measured the bride's catalysis. I can force feed it. <laughs> Break the particles! Become the key! Hello, the rat are hiding from the war. What's it doing? Exactly what you said. Oh, they didn't just bury something in the center of the earth. They became the center of the earth. The first rock. What was that? Trouble. I going to have the nightmare tonight? Definitely not. How do you know? Because someone's coming to help. Who? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Is it one of your stories? Your definitely true ones? Oh, all my stories are true. Like how you're born behind the clock face of Big Ben? Accounting for my acute sense of time. And you invented fish? Because I dislike swimming alone. So what's this one? There's a man called the Doctor. He lives on a cloud in the sky, and all he does, all day, every day, is to stop all the children in the world ever having bad dreams. I've been having bad dreams. He's been on holiday. But I'm confident he has now returned to work, and as a matter of fact, he's right here. Aren't you, Doctor? Ah! Let me know. The children have been very naughty. Just get back now. Quickly. You're doing your other voice. Yes, love. Did you notice? Naughty, naughty children. Run! <laughs> what do we do? Franny. Franny. Imagine a melting. What? In your head. Melt up. I can't. I'm getting impatient. You have been very naughty. What about the man? You said the man was here, the cloud man. Well, he's not, is he? Where's the doctor? I don't know. Doctor? Doctor! <laughs> Doctor who? <laughs> That's the way to do it! <laughs> Oi! Where did she go? Will she come back? No, oh, don't worry. She's currently draining through your carpet. New setting, antifreeze, and you're very welcome, by the way. I'm very grateful. I knew you'd come. No, you didn't, because I don't. Because this isn't the sort of thing I do anymore. But well, next time you're in trouble, don't expect me to... What is it? What's wrong? Not right, it's just... You know, I put it on. It is, isn't it? It is very cool. Bow ties are cool. No, the room. The room's getting colder. This one. Who is he? I'm not sure. But he may be dangerous. He doesn't look dangerous. Who? Oh! I'm talking to you live! In person! You can jump back in your skins now. Except, of course, they're not your skins, are they? What do you want? Mercy. We have none. It's not a request, it's an offer. I'll give you a head start. I'll close my eyes and I'll count to ten. I will make no attempt to follow you. But starting now, all of you, everywhere, 
pack your bags and get off of this planet. Are you declaring war on us? I am drawing a line, and I'm suggesting you step back from it with awesome spirit. Then war it is. Multinucleate organism. Functioning as an infinitely adaptable, independently functioning, peripatetic central nervous system. Good to keep an open mind. Because ah. it won't work. What won't work? Whatever it is, whatever you've got planned. Stating the obvious, you've set up in every capital city in the world, so clearly the plan is to unzip the head of every world leader, pop yourselves inside. Of course, you can't just roll up with a team of surgeons to the White House or to the Kremlin because they've got big fences, shouty people, cross dogs. They will come to us, and they will come running. Oh. I very much doubt it. Take this. Yes, take that. Who are you? There have been many attempts to conquer the Earth. I've lost count. Not one of them has succeeded. Not a single one. They all lost and burned and ran. That's who I am. <sighs> what is this? It's a burger. I always bring a snack. I don't want it. I always put me off my dinner. Very good. Right on target. Trial and error, to be honest. A few accidental stop-offs along the way. Where did you get the ropes? 12th century Constantinople. They ruled firmly, but wisely. Uh, 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 uh. How did it go? Oh, you know. Issued a warning, donated a burger. Some stationery. The ghost, what have you got? The whole story. Fact me, baby. It's why I reassembled you. No, sir, that's not the reason, is it? <sighs> Just get on with it. You cut me out of Hydroflax because you were worried you'd be lonely. We both know why, don't we? But, oh, look at you. Avoiding the subject. I'm not avoiding anything. I'm just trying to save a planet. Which is what you always do when the conversation turns serious. Look, I rather think that those things have, have got a scent. I'm not waiting. Careful! Take it slowly! <laughs> what help me? You're okay. Step at a time. Come on, you can do it. Kill. 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 They're getting nearer. Kill. See the Kill. Kill. We're leaving us trapped, Kill. you say? Kill. Never say trapped, just inconveniently circumstanced. I'm OK. Maybe he's all right. Maybe, maybe there's a, a gravity curve down there or something. I don't know. Maybe he's just unconscious. I'm sorry, Foon. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! Who's gone? Panacavalapi, you go next. Panacavalata, slow! Slowly! The pounders! Has to get across right now. What about you? Just do it, go on. Mr. Cop, what? We can't wait. After well, you, I don't argue. Food, you've got to get across right now. Oh, oh. What are we going to do without him? Doctor! The door's locked! Just think. What would he want, eh? I don't want nothing. He's dead! <laughs> Doctor, I can't open the door. We need the wording key thing of yours. I can't leave her. She'll get us all killed if we can't get out. Mrs. Van Hoff, I am coming back for you, all right? Jubilee, be look! Oi! Don't go spiking with me! Keep going! Why would they give up? Never mind that! Keep coming! Where have they gone? 
We're the host. Oh, I'm afraid we forgot the traditions of Christmas. That angels have wings. Information killed. Hold yourself! Hold you! Is there a joke? Huh? Extract from Thoughts on a Clock by Eric Ritchie Jr. Is it a knock knock one? Who is the best? I don't think so. Well, read it. Go on. And now it's time for one last bow. Like all your other selves. Eleven's hour is over now. The clock is striking twelves. I don't get it. They're here. The Daleks, we can't stop them. They want you. All right, Barnable. Are you Barnable? No, Doctor. It's okay, Barnable. Don't worry. I have got a plan. Off you pop. I haven't got a plan, but people love it when I say that. Doctor, what are you going to do? I don't know. Oh, talk very fast. Hope something good happens. Take the credit. It's generally how it works. Talk to Not this time, though. This is it. No! Yes. We saw the future, Clara. This is how it ends. Change it. Ha. Like Tasha said, change the future. I could have once when there were Time Lords. Not anymore. Locate the Doctor! No, you're gonna stay here. Promise me you will. Why? I'll be keeping you safe. One last victory. Allow me that. Give me that. My impossible girl. Thank you. Is. It takes so long to say anything. Probably die of boredom before they shoot me. The doctor is required! Listen to me, you lot. Listen! Help him. Help him change the future. Do it. Do something. You've been getting it wrong. His name... His name is the Doctor. All the name he needs, everything you need to know about him.
adjusted the time frame only by a couple of hours. Any other day, it wouldn't make any difference, but this is Christmas 1914, and the human miracle is about to happen. The Christmas Armistice. Doctor of war. You were right, you know. The universe generally fails to be a fairy tale. But that's where we come in. I'm ready now, but I should like to know how you. You'll find out. The long way round. Whatever you decide. Good luck, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor. All the sewage runs through there, straight into the Thames. Yeah, that's too well guarded. We'll have to find another way in. Whoa, that's cheating, sneaking out. Do you have your legs on silent? So, what do we have here? Listen, listen, just walk towards me slowly. Don't let them touch you. No, but they wouldn't hurt me, my fine boy. They are my knights in shining armor, quite literally. Even if they've converted you, that's not a cyber speech pattern. You've still got free will. I'm telling you, step away. There's been no conversion, sir. No one's ever been able to change my mind. The Cybermen offered me the one thing I wanted. Liberation. Who are you? You could be quiet. I doubt he paid you to talk. More importantly, who are you, sir, with such intimate knowledge of my companions? I'm the Doctor. Incorrect. You do not correspond to our image of the Doctor. Yeah, but that's because your database got corrupted. Oh, look, look, look. Check this. 
The doctor's info stamp. Plug it in, go on, download. The core has been damaged. This info stamp would damage cyber units. Oh well, nice try. Core repaired, download. You are the doctor. Hello. You will be deleted. No, no, but you, 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 let me die happy. Just tell me one thing. What do you need those children for? What are children ever needed for? They're a workforce. But for what? Very soon now, the whole empire will see, and they will bow down in worship. And it's all been time for Christmas Day. Was that your idea, Miss? Hartigan. Yes. The perfect day for a birth. With a new message for the people. Only this time it won't be the words of a man. The birth of what? A birth and a death, namely yours. Thank you, Doctor. Glad to have been part of your very last conversation. Now, delete them. Delete. At your service, Doctor. Shoot! Shoot! Come on! Yeah! One last thing. Oh, can I say I completely disapprove? Come on! Get up, babe! I said get up! Tell your masters we're not waiting till dawn. The Cyber King will rise. Tonight. Those Christmas Eves with me. I could release her any time I want. And she would live a single day. So tell me, ghost of Christmas present, how do I choose which day? I'm sorry. I, I really am. I'm very, very sorry. But you know what? She's got more time left than I have, more than anyone on this ship. Good. Rory, why did the beam? <laughs> How did I get here? You didn't. It's your turn to be the hologram. Since you're going to let a lot of people die tonight, I thought you might like to see where it's all going to happen. The sin? What is it? I don't understand. It's the doctor's idea. The harmony's resonating the ice crystals. That's why the fish like it. He thought that maybe it would stabilize the ship, but it isn't working. It's not powerful enough. Why are they still singing, then? Because we haven't told them. Sir, I understand you have a machine that controls this cloud layer. If you can release us from it, we still have time to make a landing. Nobody has to die. Everybody has to die. Not tonight. Tonight's as good as any other night. How do you choose? Doctor? Yeah. Are you hearing this? I can hear. He's here. What is he? Doctor! Doctor! Sorry. I didn't realize. All my life I've been called heartless. My other life, my real life, the one you rewrote. Now look at me. Better a broken heart than no heart at all. Try it. You try it. Why are you here? Because I'm not finished with you yet. You've seen the past, the present, and now you need to see the future. Fine, do it, show me. I'll die cold, alone, and afraid. Of course I will. We all do. What difference does showing me make? Do you know why I'm going to let those people die? Not a plan. I don't get anything from it. It's just that I don't care. I'm not like you. I don't even want to be like you. I don't and never, ever will care. And I don't believe that. And show me the future. Prove me wrong. I am showing it to you. I'm showing it to you right now. So what do you think? Is this who you want to become, Kazran?
sorry. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay to be fine. I'm, I'm so, so, so... Chances of you remembering any of this are very slim. Well, don't say that. We'll remember, won't we, Ashley? Ashley? Wake up, really. It's not really something we do every day, is it? No, no. Strictly once a year. We stay. We die, Clara. You're always such a downer, Doctor. Clara. Just a little longer. Why? Every Christmas is last Christmas. Yeah! Are there many more out there? Oh, not just Sycorax. Hundreds of species, thousands of them. And the human race is drawing attention to itself. Every day you're sending out probes, and messages, and signals. This planet's so noisy. You're getting noticed more and more. You better get used to it. Mum! Oh, talking of trouble. That's all I needed. Cup of tea. I said so. Look at him. Is it him, though? Is it really the doctor? <laughs> oh, my God, it's a bleeding Prime Minister. <laughs> Come here, you. Are you better? It's a message from Torchwood. They say they're ready. Tell them to fire. Fire at will.
That was murder. That was defense. It's adapted from alien technology. A ship that fell to Earth ten years ago. But they were leaving. You said yourself, Doctor. They'd go back to the stars and tell others about the Earth. I'm sorry, Doctor, but you're not here all the time. You come and go. It happened today. Mr. Llewellyn and the Major. They were murdered. They died right in front of me while you were sleeping. In which case, we have to defend ourselves. Britain's golden age. It comes with a price. I gave them the wrong warning. I should have told them to run as fast as they can. Run and hide because the monsters are coming. The human race. Those are the people I represent. I did it on their behalf. And I should have stopped you. What does that make you, Doctor? Another alien threat? Don't challenge me, Harriet Jones, because I'm a completely new man. I could bring down your government with a single word. You're the most remarkable man I've ever met. But I don't think you're quite capable of that. No, you're right. Not a single word. Just six. I don't think so. Six words. Stop it. Six. Don't you think she looks tired? What did he say? Um, well, nothing, really. What did I, he say? It, I, I, nothing, I don't know. Doctor! Doctor, what did you... What was that? What did he say? What did you say, Doctor? Doctor! I'm sorry. Everything about home that you miss until you can't bear it, till you almost burst. Till it hurts. Is that what you mean, caretaker? Till it hurts. Yes. Yes.
Lily, are you all right? Yeah. Are they dead? No. They're just wood now. They've been emptied. The forest has gone from your head too, isn't it? Where is it now? The life force of the whole forest has transmuted itself into a subetheric wave band of light, which can exist as the 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 the, 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 the souls of the trees are out among the stars, and they're shiny, very happy, and you got them there. Well done, Madge. The singing towers of Derivium. Here we are at last. Yeah, sir. You know what? We should build a restaurant right here with a view of those towers. You make a lot of money that way. You should do that. <laughs> you need a lot of money to begin with, sir. The Halassi Andruvar. I think you'll find that the reward is pretty substantial. Uh, why would you give me this, sir? Restaurant. table on the balcony with a view of the towers? I'm sorry, sir. The first available slot I have is Christmas Day in four years' time. Not a problem. Professor Song, the doctor is waiting for you on the balcony. Oh. Excellent. This way, Mum. Do we have a good table? The finest in all the galaxy, Mom. Ah. Uh, one moment. <laughs> Ramon. Professor Song. The doctor will be with you in a moment. What are you doing here? They pulled us from the wreckage, Mom. Fixed us up. I've been working here ever since. Don't worry. The nasty part's all gone. Got deleted in a merger. What about Nardo? Oh, Merry Christmas, Mum. Good to see you again. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Nardo! Uh, sorry I'm off duty. I'm just having some me time. I imagine that must be quite a challenge. Yes, Mum. <laughs> so, Ramon. You have a metal body now. Done, girl. Now that, my dear, is a suit. Happy Christmas. Really? I don't think you've ever given me a present before. <gasps> it's a sonic screwdriver. How lovely. When I saw the sonic chart, I thought it was just embarrassing. <laughs> You look, uh, amazing. Doctor, you have no idea whether I look amazing or not. Well, you've, you've moved your hair about, haven't you? Well done. It's very sweet of you to try. <laughs> so what do you think? The singing towers. Oh, 
heart unlocks, and they will waken from their sleep of ages. Oh, well. What's down there? How thick are you? My children, the long-lost Ragnos, now reborn to feast on flesh. The witch star shall come to me. My babies will be hungry. They need sustenance. Perish the web. Use her, not me. Use her. Oh, my funny little lads. <laughs> but you were quite impolite to your lady friend. <laughs> The Empress does not approve. It's Christmas. Harvest the humans. Reduce them to meat. My children are climbing towards me. None shall stop them! So you might as well unmask my clever little doctor man. Oh well, nice try. I've got you, Donna. I'm gonna fall! You're gonna swing! I've got you! Sorry. Thanks for nothing. Release her to us. You have five minutes. We need to get her out of here, but keep her away from them. How? With this, I always have to state the obvious. Those creatures outside, what are they? No danger to you as long as I get that thing out of here. You in there now. Ah! What are you doing? Between you and me. Ah! Can't wait to find ah! out. Right, if you look after everyone here, then I can Clara. Doctor! Clara! Ah! You're stupid! You were stupid too! I'm allowed, I'm good at stupid! That's the way to do it! Why does she keep saying that? Mirroring, random mirroring. We need to get on the that's roof! That's the way to do it! No, no, I do the hand grabbing, that's my job, that's always me! Come on, quickly! Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you doing? My bustle is stuck. Your bustle? Uh, You're going to have to take those clothes off. I didn't mean... I know. I, just... I understand, I do. Good. Now, what's the plan? Who said I've got a plan? Because you've got a plan, you took that. Maybe I'm an idiot. You're not. You're clever, really clever. Are you? If I've got a plan, what is it? You tell me. That's the way to do it! Is this a test? Yes. What would it do to us? Killer. That's the way to do it! So come on, then plan. Do I have one? Oh, I know what your plan is. I knew straight away. No, you didn't. Of course I did. Show me. Why should I? Because we'll be dead in under 30 seconds. Do I have a plan? If we'd been escaping, we'd be climbing down the building. If we'd been hiding, we'd be on the other side of the roof. But no, we're standing. Right here. So? So? After you. After you? After you. I'm wearing a dress, eyes front, soldier. My eyes are always front. Mine on. Stop it. No. I understand you're the previous governor, so I regret to inform you the position is taken. Good night. So you can move your cloud, you can control it. No, no one can control clouds, that would be silly. The wind, a little bit. She's following us. That's the idea. Keep her away from the snow. So, barmaid or governess, which is it? That thing is after us, and you want to chat? Well, we can't chat after we've been horribly killed, can we? How do we get up so high so quick? Clever staircase. Taller on the inside. 
What am I standing on? What's this made of? Super dense water vapor. Should keep her trapped for the moment. On a cloud in a box. I have done for a long time now. me, you really know how to sulk, don't you? I'm not sulking. You live in a box. That's no more a box than you are a governess. Oh, spoken like a man. You know, you're the same as all the rest. Sweet little Clara works at the Rose and Crown. Ideas about their station. Well, for your information, I'm not sweet on the inside, and I'm certainly not. It's called the TARDIS. It can travel anywhere in time and space. And it's mine. Liz. Look at this. Go on, say. Most people do. <laughs> Smaller on the outside. Okay. That is a first. The ship is crashing. They're not going to be worrying about us. Okay, plan B. Doctor, help me! Oh, you'll be fine. The ship will have blown up long before you've been strangled to death. What's plan B? Oh, I have no idea, but it's going to be a very big relief when I think of it. You are completely out of your mind. How is that news to anyone? Look, I know you miss her, but couldn't you just write a poem? Excellent. The controls are locked, but they've still got a little bit of give. Means I can take aim. But what? New York. There's exactly one chance, but one is all you need. <laughs> no. No, it's too soon. Stand a chance. You want to know why? He's actually left out. Sorry, instinct. I couldn't let go of this. Oh, 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 oh. If you two are about to get excited, maybe you could get rid of that spaceship first. You know what? I think I prefer you in your superhero costume. It's a bit difficult for me to change right now. I'll do it for you. Grant! Grant! Ah, uh, remember! 
remember when you're finished. And throw that thing into the sun. It's a shame we couldn't work together. You're rather good. All that banter, yet not a word wasted. Time for me to return. The Titanic is falling. The sky will burn. Let the Christmas inferno commence. Oh, host! Kill him! Mr. Capricorn! I resign. Control are dead, they'll go to the next highest authority. And that's me. There's, there's nothing we can do. There's no power. The ship's gonna fall. Titanic falling. What's your first name? Uh, Alonso. Titanic falling. You're kidding me. Titanic what? Falling. That's something else I've always wanted to say. Allons-y, Alonso! Sorry, I'm a bit slow. May not be at my best right now. I'm dying. You've been trying to kill me for centuries, and here I am, dying of old age. If you want something done, do it yourself. You will die, and the Time Lords will never return. You still can't work up the courage to shoot me, can you? You're still worried I've got something up my sleeve? Well, you knock yourself out, boys. Got nothing this time. Yeah. 
say? Did you mention the rules? Now, listen, a bit of advice. Tell me the truth if you think you know it. Lay down the law if you're feeling brave. But, Daleks, never, ever tell me the rules! Emergency! Emergency! Regeneration number 13. We're breaking some serious science here, boys. I tell you what, it's gonna be a whopper. <laughs> exterminate, exterminate the doctor. Ha, you think you can stop me now, darlings? If you want my life, <laughs> come and get it! <laughs> thing about knowing you was my superior intelligence my dazzling charisma oh my impeccable dress letting you go letting go of the doctor is so so hard isn't it you see that's 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 not the sort of thing the real bill potts would say i am the real bill a life is just memories I'm all her memories, so I'm her. If you say so. OK, I'm going to prove to you how important memories are. I've got a little goodbye present for you. Oh, that's nice. We'll have to pretend to like it, because, honestly, that rug... Oh, come here, you. Merry Christmas, Doctor. Clara. Hello. You stupid old man. You're back. You're in my head. All my memories. I'm back. And don't go forgetting me again, because... Quite frankly, that was offensive. Memories. Important, right? I know what you're thinking. Where is he? Hello, sir. When you're already dying, you're entitled to think that your day couldn't get any worse, but here you are. And both of you are here. How does that work? We can be everyone. Mm. We are everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good, this, isn't it? Now I'm all made of glass, not just my nipples. Yeah, though they got my hair a bit wrong, though, didn't they? You don't have any hair. I have invisible hair. Got a suggestion for you, then. Oh, there's a novelty. Don't die. Because if you do, I think everybody in the universe might just go cold. Can't I ever have peace? Can't I rest? Of course you can. It's your choice. Only yours. We understand. No. No, you don't. You're not even really here. You're just memories, held in class. Do you know how many of you I could fill? I would shatter you. My testimony would shatter all of you. A life this long, do you understand what it is? It's a battlefield, like this one. And it's empty. Because everyone else has fallen. Thank you. Thank you both for everything that you were to me. What happens now? Where I go now? 
دست به الان And inside the chest, a cyber factory, ready to convert millions. And I will walk. I will stride across this tiny, little world. She's dead south. Take him south, go to the parkland. But where are you going? To stop that thing. Well, I should be with you. Jackson, you've got your son. You've got a reason to live. No, you haven't. God save you, Doctor. I think it's time for Christmas Day. What is that? What, what are you listening to? This has come from outside. This has come from the actual clouds. Well, well, 
The singing resonates in the crystals. It's feeding back and forth between the two halves of the screwdriver now. One song filling the sky. The crystals will align and I'll feed in a controlled phase loop and the clouds will unlock. What does that mean, unlock? What happens when a cloud unlocks? Something that hasn't happened in this town for a very long time now. These are Christmas hats. I've seen people use them. You put them on and absolutely anything seems funny. Oh, probably won't work on you. Probably not. You want to try? Go on, then. Can you really see no difference in me? Clara Oswald, you'll never look any different to me. So how was it, then? How was what? The 62 years that I missed. Oh. How is my life, you mean? Is it a Mr. Clara? No. But there were plenty of proposals. They all turned you down, though. I turned them down. I travelled. I taught in every country in Europe. I learned to fly a plane. Regrets? Oh, hundreds. I just wish there were time for a few more. Yeah, they're always the best part. Christmas cracker, we should do one. No one ever matched up to Danny, eh? That was one of them, man. But that would never have worked out. Why not? He was impossible. We should do this every Christmas. Because every Christmas is last Christmas. I'm sorry. I was stupid. I should have come back earlier. I wish that I had. Do you, Doctor? How much do you wish that? Doctor, I'm 
Anna Young. No idea. Is that any good? Oh, that's good. The TARDIS is outside. So? So all of time and all of space is sitting out there in a big blue box. Please, don't even argue. Merry Christmas, Doctor. Christmas clouds <laughs> Well, look at you all happy. <laughs> That's rare. You know what's rarer? Second chances. I never get a second chance, so what happened this time? Don't even know who to thank. planet Earth. No denying the existence of aliens now. Everyone saw it. Everything's new. And what about you? What are you going to do next? Well, back to the TARDIS. Same old life. But on your own? Why don't you want to come? Well, yeah. Do you, though? Yeah. Well, I just thought, because I'd changed. Yeah, I, I thought because you changed. You might not want me anymore. Oh, I'd love you to come. <laughs> okay. You're never gonna stay, are you? There's just so much out there. So much to see. I've got to. Yeah. Well, I reckon you're mad. A pair of you. It's like you go looking for trouble. Trouble's just the bits in between. It's all waiting out there, Jackie. And it's brand new to me. All those planets. Creatures and horizons, I haven't seen them yet. Not with these eyes. And it is going to be fantastic. Andy, you're still gives me the creeps. <laughs> Absolutely sure. How long? Two years. Okay. Fair point. So, you're not dead. And a happy new year. River told us. Well, of course she did. She's a good girl. Well. I'm not going to hug first. Nor am I. Christmas dinner. Joining us? If it's no trouble. There's a place set for you. But you didn't know I was coming. Why would you set me a place? Oh, because we always do. It's Christmas, you're a moron. 
stories about us, you know. Oh, I tried to think. I look them up sometimes. You really shouldn't do that. Some of them suggest that the very last night we spend together is at the Singing Towers of Terillion. That wouldn't be true, would it? Spoilers. <gasps> well, that would... Explain why you kept cancelling coming here. Do you remember that Relax. time when there were two Stop. of you? Because Please, I want you to know that if this is the last night, I expect you to find a way round it. Not everything can be avoided. Not forever. But you're you. There's always a loophole. You wait until the last minute and then you spring it on me. Every night is the last night for something. Every Christmas is last Christmas. But you will. You wait until I've given up hope. All will be lost, and you'll do that smug little smile, and then you'll save the day you always do. No, I don't. Not always. Times end, River, because they have to. Because there's no such thing as happy ever after. It's just a lie we tell ourselves because the truth is so hard. No, Doctor. You're wrong. Happy ever after doesn't mean forever. Just means time. Little time. But that's not the sort of thing you could ever understand, is it? Mm. What do you think of the towers? I love them. Then why are you ignoring them? They're ignoring me. But then. You can't expect a monolith to love you back. No, you can't. They've been there for millions of years. Through storms and floods and wars and time. Nobody really understands where the music comes from. It's probably something to do with the precise positions, the distance between both towers. Even the locals aren't sure. All anyone will ever tell you is that when the wind stands fair and the night is perfect, when you least expect it, but always when you need it the most. There is a song. Is a night on Derillium. Twenty-four years. <laughs> I hate you. Guess what I've got, Donna? Pockets. How did that fit in now? They're bigger on the inside. Rogue forms are not necessary. My children may feast on Martian flesh. Oh, but I'm not from Mars. Then where? My home planet is far away and long since gone. 
But his name lives on. Gallifrey. Steve! I warned you. You did this. No! No! Don't! mirrors that's all it does it's mirroring something else now something so strong it's drowning everything else
There was a critical mass of snow at the house. If, if something happened there... Salty. Salt water rain. It's not raining. It's crying. The only force on earth that could drown the snow. A whole family crying on Christmas Eve. So, no more ghosts, then? Nah, laid to rest. Sure? Yeah, of course, I'm sure. I mean, life's not a comic book, right, Doctor? Possibly I'm not the right person to ask. Well, what if something happens? What if the whole world is in danger? Well, you know, maybe I'll keep the outfit then. You know, just in case. Mm -hmm. The world will be fine. I've been away for a while, but I'm back. I'll take care of anything that comes up. You were away? Huh. 24 years. What a night. Where'd you go? Wrong question. What was her name? I'm sure that I must be busy. Better go. You okay? Yes, 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 I'm okay. Things end. That's all. Everything ends. That is always sad. But everything begins again, too. And that's always happy. Be happy. I'll look after everything else. Now, don't. Hey, doctor. <laughs> Keep it real. Her name was River Song. They were together for a while and they were very happy. And then she died a long time ago in a library. Are you sure he's going to be all right? <laughs> he's the doctor. He's very brave and he's very silly. And I think for a time he's going to be very sad. But I promise, in the end, he'll be all right. I'll make sure of it. Bye. You never explained. Who exactly is he? Doctor Who? Doctor Mysterio.
Use the heat of re-entry to fire up the secondary storm drive. Unsinkable, that's me. We made it. Now all of us. I don't know, they should have. She fell. Mr. Copper, she fell. What's the emergency code? Oh, let me see. Well, well, what the hell are you doing? We can bring her back. Uh, if a passenger has an accident on shore leave and they're still wearing their teleport, the molecules are automatically suspended and held in stasis. So if we could just trigger the ship. I'm falling. Only halfway there. Come on. I keep falling. Feed back the molecule grid. Boots up with the restoration metrics. No, 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 no! Need more phase containment. Doctor. No! I can just link up the surface suspension. Doctor, she's I just gone. need to override the safety. I can do this! I can do it! Doctor, let her go. I can do anything! Stop me falling. There's not enough left. The system was too badly damaged. She's just atoms, Doctor. An echo with the ghost of consciousness. She's stardust. Astrid Path, citizen of Star. You would have looked at the stars and dreamt of travelling. There's an old tradition. Now you can travel forever. You're flying. Hello. You're young again. You're okay. You didn't even change your face. <laughs> Started. I can't stop it now. This is just the reset. Whole new regeneration cycle. Ooh. <laughs> Taking a bit longer. Just breaking it in. Oh. Oh. It all just disappears, doesn't it? Everything you are gone in a moment, like breath on a mirror. Any moment now, he's a coming. Who's coming? The doctor. You. You are the doctor. Yep. And I always will be. But times change, and so must I. <laughs> Amelia. Who's Amelia? The first face this face saw. Think about it. We are all 
different people all through our lives. And that's okay, that's good, you've got to keep moving so long as you remember all the people that you used to be. I will not forget one line of this. Not one day, I swear. I will always remember when the doctor was me. Raggedy man. Good night. Save it the more it needs saving. The treadmill. <sighs> yes, yes, I know they'll get it all wrong without me. Well, I suppose one more lifetime. Doctor, let's get it right. I've got a few things to say to you. Basic stuff first. Never be cruel, never be cowardly, and never ever eat pears. Remember, hate is always foolish, and love is always Always try to be nice, but never fail to be kind. Oh, and you mustn't tell anyone your name. No one would understand it anyway. Except them. <laughs>
question is, what do you make of me? Destroy him! You make me into this. I wasn't trying to kill you. All I did was break the cyber connection. Leaving your mind open. Open. I think for the first time in far too many years. So you can see. Just look at yourself. Look at what you've done. I'm sorry, Miss Hartigan. But look at what you've become. I'm so sorry. I'd say he used that dimension vault to transfer the wreckage of the Cyber King into the Time Vortex, there to be harmlessly disintegrated. Oh, <laughs> I've picked up a lot. Ah, here. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that man, that doctor on high, and I know that he has done this deed a thousand times, but not once, no sir, not once, not ever, has he ever been thanked, but no more. For I say to you on this Christmas morn, bravo, sir! Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.